Morning, welcome to ANZ News. It's Wednesday, the 18th of November. So Wednesday, we're talking smart money. Smart money is taking cover. Equities markets are often driven more by emotion than fact or fundamentals. Two nights ago, we saw Wall Street surge on another positive vaccine announcement, and then last night, fall back. Nothing much changed, so did the market just momentarily pause and look more pragmatically at fundamentals, not hope? There are a host of metrics screaming warning signs that a vaccine will likely come too late, and we shared something about that recently. The Dow Jones Industrial Average hit all-time highs yesterday, seemingly on hope of a V-shaped recovery and not the reality. The chart here showing Dow Jones versus US Industrial Production SA. Maybe one of the most striking charts we've seen for some time is that we're going to show next, plotting the price versus earnings ratio for the Real Economy Index of the US's top 3,000 gross shares. The Russell 3000 against that yield on US corporate high yield or junk bonds for every month since 1995. As you can see, neither have ever been more overextended. Just take a moment and grasp that one here, valuation of US stocks versus junk bonds. In the words of the author, the Federal Reserve and fiscal powers may appear for now to come to the rescue during the COVID-19 recession, but they have only upped the ante on the imbalances and risks they have allowed to build in the first place. In this context, low interest rates equate to anything but low risk. From a valuation standpoint, in our analysis, the risks presented by US financial asset bubbles today are the highest they've ever been. For long-oriented investors, the good news is that is perhaps one of the greatest setups ever for precious metals, the forgotten asset class of the last decade. Gold is the one cheap asset that truly benefits from artificially manufactured low interest rates. We expect gold will increasingly become the new high demand asset for discerning allocators, given its low correlation, undervaluation, and high absolute return potential compared to overvalued and overcrowded stocks and bonds at large. Buy gold and sell stocks is Crescat's macro mantra today. To put the Russell 3000 PE ratio alone into perspective, check out this one here. Last time we saw peaks this high, as you can see, was around that year 2000 point, or just before. Tech bubble, for those that can remember it. It may also be instructed for a look at what is the inside money doing right now i.e. the executives of these companies that have the insight of the real business position compared to traders piling in on expectations of future business. Answer? They're selling hand over fist. This is insider transactions ratio. This next graph shown here. Sell, sell, sell by the look of things. And so while insiders are selling, the bullish masses and passive funds are piling in with eyes rolled back, abandoned. Real investment advice, market greed versus fear gauge is going full Gordon Gecko. Greed is good, as in the case before every crash. Check out this graph here, market greed and fear gauge. What are we sitting at at the moment? Extreme greed. What will be the catalyst is anyone's guess. What is not seemingly being taken fully into account is the ferocity of this second wave of COVID sweeping the US, Europe and the subcontinent. We entered the recession on the little rise at the beginning of this next shown chart. That puts the surge since mid-October into perspective. Four million cases of COVID were added just in the last seven days. And deaths are higher than ever before, shown in this next graph here. This is not so much about the numbers themselves, but the reaction of the governments. Biden is going to be much more inclined towards shutdowns and other extreme measures than Trump ever was. That people are starting to talk about cancelling Thanksgiving and Christmas cannot be ignored. As we started this article, share markets are often emotionally driven and such moves could be just the little prick this bubble is waiting for. Sovereign bonds, on the other hand, are not emotionally driven and they are telling a very different story. It's the same picture with inflows to gold ETFs and Bitcoin just hit its highest price since 2017. The spart money is taking cover. Check out this last chart here. NASDAQ versus 10-year yield and the disparity between those two numbers. Well, that's news for today. We hope you enjoyed that recap. Pretty devastating news, but informative nonetheless. 
Remember ainsleybullion.com.au for all things physical, gold and silver, and platinum too. You can buy, sell with Ainsley. Ainsleywealth.com.au, cryptocurrencies, and goldsilverstandard.com for our gold and silver-backed cryptocurrency, built and backed by Ainsley, and stored at Reserve Vault. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.